Hello, hello, welcome back to the Intern Queen YouTube. Uh, recently, I don't know if you guys have noticed, we've been trying to answer a lot of your frequently asked questions in our videos. So I'm constantly speaking at colleges and universities and I'm always really excited to hear the questions that people have for me. And when questions stump me, I like that. Today's video is also based on a question that I get asked frequently. And that question is, what do I do if I hate my internship? And look, it happens, right? It's not always gonna be the perfect match. So here are my tips for how to deal with an internship that you do not like. The first thing is I do wanna distinguish feeling uncomfortable and not liking a job, right? It is two different things. If you ever feel uncomfortable at your internship, if someone is speaking to you in a way that they shouldn't be, like you gotta say something, right? You gotta wave your hands in the air and you have to, not, not literally, but you gotta uh, find someone to talk to about it and I think at every internship it's a little bit different sometimes you might feel uncomfortable and go right to the HR supervisor sometimes you might go to your direct boss sometimes you might not feel comfortable saying anything at your internship and you might need to go to your career center again if you're dealing with sexual harassment in the workplace if anything is making you feel uncomfortable that is what I call a red flag word you got to do something it's like at the airport if you see something, you gotta say something. I don't want anybody in an uncomfortable environment. All right, so if you just don't like your internship, you're sitting around, you're bored, here's a few tips for you. Uh, the first tip is give it two weeks. Um, I think the first two weeks of an internship are always difficult because you're getting used to a company and a company is getting used to you. Um, there's a lot of times when companies don't have any interns around and I think sometimes the interns come in and the company is kind of scrambling. They're not used to having to do their job plus be the internship coordinator. So I always say, give it two weeks, call it a learning curve, call it whatever you want. Just give yourself and the company time to get used to one another. The second thing is you always wanna be solution oriented. So I recommend asking your internship supervisor who, or whoever you have that kind of relationship with to sit down for five minutes, you know, schedule a meeting with them and be very positive. And you say, you know, I'm really excited to be at this company. I know when I first interviewed for the position and read about it. I thought I was going to be doing X, Y, and Z. You know, I've, I've definitely gotten to do this, but maybe not so much of that. Um, I'd love to work on that more. And if there are specific tasks that you've identified during that two week learning period that you really want to do, bring those up in the meeting. I think it's great to approach your internship coordinator with specific tasks that you want to work on. Um, I always like when our interns remind me of what their ultimate goal is. Like, let's say their ultimate goal is to work in PR and they told me that in the interview. Seven weeks later when they start their internship, I might not remember that. So I think it's really important as an intern for you to remind people of what your ultimate goal is so that they can give you the right tasks to set you up for success. If I know that one person wants to go in, into events planning, I'm gonna have them work on events or at least I'm gonna try to. If I know someone wants to be in PR, I'm gonna have them work on that. So I think in this meeting, you're gonna be again, solution oriented. You're gonna have a list of things that you really wanna work on and you're gonna remind your internship supervisor of what your ultimate goal is. And if you're a senior and you're thinking, well, my ultimate goal is to work for the company, you should say that, you know, I would love to work here, or get a job offer after graduation. What are the steps that I can take to get there? And that is a fair question to ask. So those are some things that you should do if you're really not liking your internship. Now let's say you have that meeting, you're solution oriented and it just doesn't get better. That's when I would sort of enlist the uh, support team around you. I would talk to your career center. I would talk to any professors that have been pivotal in the internship process. Talk to your parents, talk to the HR director, get advice and just see if there's anything that you can do. Maybe you can switch departments. Maybe there's another team member or another boss, that you, supervisor that you can switch to, but talk to your support team. Try to really do everything you can before actually leaving the internship or disappearing from the internship. We don't like the disappearing intern, right? So again, be proactive, be solution oriented, and I'm confident that you can figure out how to make this situation work. And one more note for you guys, just remember, you do an internship to figure out what you like to do and what you don't like to do. I had several internships where I was happy with the company, I loved the people, I hated the work. And that's okay because for my next experience, 
I didn't sign up for that same type of opportunity. So again, you're using these internships to figure out what you like to do and what you don't like to do. So if you're hating your internship, there is hope and hopefully my advice helps. Bye everybody.